Hi, hello everyone. This is Priya Rishini, Assistant Professor, Department of BBE, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am going to discuss about CGST. What is CGST? CGST stands for Central Goods and Service Taxes. They are levied by the central government for the intrastate movement of goods and services. CGST revenues goes to the central government and SGST revenues goes to the respective state government. In almost all cases, the total tax liabilities is divided into two equal levels and distributed equally between state and central government. Next one is a GST concept. Definitions of various important terms of CGST Act 2017. The first one is a section 2, subsection 41, meaning of document. Document includes print return on or printed record of any short and electronic record as defined in case of section 2, subsection 41 of is based on the Technology Act 2000. Next is Section 2, Subsection 42, Meaning of Drawback. Drawback is relations to any goods manufactured in India and exported. Means of rebate of duty, tax, or chess, chargeable on any imported inputs or on any domestic inputs are input services used in the manufacture of such goods. Next one is a section 2, subsection 43, meaning of electronic cash ledger. Electronic cash ledger means electronic cash ledger refers in subsection 1, subsection 49. Next one is a section 2, subsection 44, meaning of electronic commerce. Electronic commerce means the supply of goods and services are both, including digital product over digital or electronic network. Next one is in section 2, subsection 45, meaning of electronic commerce operators. Electronic commerce operator means any persons who owns or operate or manage digital or electronic facilities or platform for electronic commerce. Next one is a section 2 subsection 46 meaning of credit ledger. Yes, credit ledger means the electronic credit ledger refers to in subsection 2 subsection section 49. Next one is a what is exempted supply? Supply of taxable at nil. The rate of tax at zero percentage of tax. It will be fully exempted. Next one is the suppliers that are wholly or partly exempted from CGST or IGST by way of the notifications amended section 11 of CGST Act or section 6 of IGST Act. Non-taxable suppliers as defined under section 2 subsection 78. Suppliers, they are not taxable under this act. For example, alcoholic liquor for the human consumptions. Next one is uh, the conditions for granting for an exemption. These are the uh, conditions for granting an exemption. The first one is uh, the exemption should be in the public interest by way of issuing the notifications must be recommended by the GST Council, absolute exemptions or conditional exemptions may be for any goods and services for any specific description. Exemption by way of special order may be granted under the exceptional circumstance. The registered person supplying the goods and services is not entitled to collect the tax higher than the effective rate where the supply enjoys the absolute exemptions. Thank you.